everyone good morning and welcome back to my channel my name is UC blessings and i'm very passionate and dedicated about um, our personal development i am an emotional intelligence student who is diving deep into the fascinating realms of the human mind of course i've had some um experiences with emotions negative emotions positive emotions by myself and with an insatiable curiosity and a keen desire to understand the complexities of this human behavior i'm actively contributing to the field of exploring innovative perspective and engaging in thought-provoking discussions so without further ado i welcome you to this wonderful edition of our conversation and today we're just going to talk about emotion sorry we're going to talk about time management hacks how it affects our, our emotional well-being and overall productivity welcome once again this is the right time for you to subscribe to this channel if you have not and if you like it please click the like button do also share it with your friends and comment comment your own tips we're going to share several tips today on our time management um, hacks as an individual you can apply it as a worker you can apply it and overall it works for everyone this time management we're talking about today is very crucial for personal development you know we all have the same 24 hours in a day so let's make the most of them stick around for some practical time management hacks that can truly transform your daily routine watch this video to the end Number one is prioritization. Prioritization is identifying the most important task and tackling them first. What is your priority? Prioritize what is more important and do it first. This ensures that even if the day gets hectic, you've already accomplished your key objectives. Of course, take for example, as a mom, what is the very first thing you want to do in the morning? You want to prepare for your work and to prepare your kids for school. You need to prepare for these things first. If you left it and started cooking soup, you wouldn't have achieved your key objective of the day. Let's go to the second hack, time blocking. Break your day into blocks dedicated to specific tasks. This is what I'm to achieve this particular time. This is what I'm, I'm to achieve this other time. This not only helps you to stay focused, but also provides a visual representation of how you are spending your time. Exactly. You can work it up in a journal. You can use an app to create it on your phone, your smartphone or your laptop. Create time blocks and allocate specific things you want to do those times. Hack three, the Pomodoro technique. Have you heard of the Pomodoro technique? It's all about working in short, focused bursts with breaks in between. I say that again. It's all about working in short, focused bursts with breaks in between. Okay? Thus, you focus your attention in this particular thing you want to achieve. There is no other thing on your mind. And talking about time blocks, let me quickly say that uh, minimalizing, minimalism is quite uh, important. It is important that we minimalize what we do. Just focus on one thing at a time. One thing at a time. And then you accomplish that, you take a break. Then you do after your break you will continue to repeat it it works set a timer for 25 minutes work on a task then take a five minutes break 
after four cycles take a longer break is amazing for maintaining concentration exactly right then the next hack is say no strategically exactly you know there were times of my life that i didn't even know how to say no i'm typically a people pleaser i always do things to please people i don't know how to say no whatever you tell me i'll just say yes i'm an oh yes person <laughs> and many people are like this and if you keep being like this not able to say no you'll not be able to achieve your own personal things there are personal reasons why we are called in this world that we must achieve right learning to say no is a powerful management hack be strategic with your commitments prioritize tasks that align with your goals you know and politely decline those that don't contribute to your overall objectives yes think about that particular thing you're doing does it align with your goals does it align with your values is it in tune with your dreams if the answer is yes then do it but if the answer is no say no also don't do it to please man or because you're showing loyalty some days back i got um, added to a group and uh, that particular task is not something that aligns with my goal and you know if somebody has put you in a community that does not align with your goal and you say oh yes you accepted it's expected that you are active in such group or community now if you are not um um committed in that community you see it's going to you know there's going to be um questions there's going to be queries oh you are not showing up and so on and so on so if you are expecting to put in your best in it let it be something that aligns with your goal right all right so um number five is uh, digital this the thoughts digital the thoughts with the constant bombardments of notifications a digital detox can work wonders of course you know you can actually mute your notifications those particular ones because it's so distracting once you pick up your phone sometimes you just pick up your phone and you want to get to a particular app okay maybe let's say you want to read your bible the bible in your phone and then you take your phone you see notifications from social media this social media that's just about five prop up and see a friend you're expecting you just click on it or you click on your email or you see a text message notification or what uh, uh, it's so distracting 